This is Project EAT. That's EAT for E-Class All-Terrain. It's a modified Merc built by the Top Gear magazine team for finding bears in the woods. Not many bears around here, though. Mostly badgers. Still, there's definitely some terrain. Lots of it. All you need is a good sense of direction. Or not. Here's Stig again, looking lost. Terrified of maps, apparently. Inner compass points directly south. The EAT has a silky smooth V6 diesel. It'll do 155 miles an hour on the road, but where we're going, we won't need roads. First up, it's a trip to the top of Glen Rannoch, by any means necessary and against the clock, naturally. But don't worry, it has knobbly tyres and a roof rack for carrying extra knobbly tyres. In 400 metres, turn left. Turn left. That's a four-wheel drive car on mud tyres completely sideways. You'd do well in rallying with skills like that. Top draw drifting, I reckon. That's some proper hang time. Actual air suspension. Well, it is a Mercedes wagon, so it's tough. And if you really want to smash stuff up, there's even a pickaxe in the back. Who says you need an SUV to go off-road? The EAT has four-wheel drive and air suspension to smooth out lumps and bumps and everyday obstacles. Ancient burial mounds, for example. In 200 metres, turn sharp right. Turn sharp right. Calculating route. In 400 meters, turn right. It also has 340 horsepower, more torque than a cruise ship, and gets to 60 miles an hour in just over five seconds. to head way over there, to the very top of Arthur's seat. But first, what goes up must come down. It's full of home comforts, the EAT. Chargers for almost anything you can charge. Cozy ambient lighting, even a portable espresso machine. Everything the intrepid explorer could ever need. At the roundabout, take the first exit.
At the roundabout, take the first exit. In 400 meters, turn right. Turn right. In 200 meters, turn right. All right, all this adventure kit's had a tiny effect on the fuel efficiency. Good job the roof rack holds two cans of diesel. And there's another one in the back. Just don't confuse them with your drinking water. about take the first exit onto the final stretch now just the small matter of getting up Arthur's seat the clock's ticking so better step on it Stiggy 100 meters turn left and there we go the top of Arthur's seat no idea who Arthur is by the way or why his seat's so big Nice view, though. Shame there's no time to stick around. <laughs>